Good morning, YouTube. Mr. Mig here from maxbeats.com, M-A-X-X-B-E-A-T-S.com. This is going to be um, a first look into Logic 10.3's new selection-based processing. This is badass. All right, so um, what selection-based processing means is that you can take a selection of a piece of audio and you can process it individually from other pieces of audio on the same track. So, for instance, if I have a vocal take um, and I just want to affect one piece of that one vocal take, I can do a completely different effect on that one piece versus doing the whole track and adding in a, a plug-in on the track. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a loop here. In the loop browser, I'm going to go grab a beat, just any beat, because this is, uh, this is how fast we can do this um, on the fly once the spinning beach ball stops spinning. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into, let's see, Logic's Electro House. I'm going to type in the search here, beat, and I'm going to grab a beat. So let me see what we have here. What else we have? What's this? I like this, simple. And we're going to drag this into an audio, onto an audio track, I say. And import the tempo information. It's fine. We're going to close this by hitting B, which is the browser button for loops. That's the browser button for loops. Okay. So let me just duplicate this out by hitting, uh, op, well, it's Alt or it's Option, and I drag. Select this. Do it one more time. All right. So we are going to mess around real quick with throwing an effect on just one of these pieces of these four sections that I've created that are on the same track. So let's hit play in here, the uh, beat by itself, straight through, eight bars. Nice. All right, so that's eight bars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color code this by hitting uh, option C. I'm going to color code this third piece here. And I'm going to make it something vastly different. That way, you can see this is the piece that I'm going to add the effect to. As you're listening and seeing, it'll help you really um, understand the change that was made. So what we do is here, here we, we double click on this third piece here in this case, and it brings up the audio editor. Now you have two options, track or file. However, track is the option that we're using for this piece here. Yeah, I don't believe we can do that with this, um, the same function on file. So we go to track, we hit function, we go down to functions, we click selection based processing. And that brings up a new menu, which is on my other screen right now, and it's here now. All right, so what happens here is you have options here to either insert plugins one by one, an A plugin, a B plugin, or you can go and select an entire channel strip setting, which I'm going to do right now for uh, ease of this video. And I'm going to go over to effects, not dynamics, because that's not really going to show you guys on your computer or on your phone what's really going on here. We need something that's drastic. And now, remember, this is just a tutorial to show you how to do this. I'm not doing it specifically in any certain, you know, way for any certain reason, so it may not be the greatest effect, but it'll show you how to apply your own effects in your projects the way you want. Okay, so I'm going to go and try, um, what do we have, stutter, stutter, fast, stutter, medium. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm going to try stutter, medium on just that section. So now it loads up all these plugins here on the A, the A, uh, the A side here, and now we are going to click pre-listen. Pre-listen means you can actually hear the effect before you apply it to the region. Once you apply it to the region, it becomes part of that region. All right, so let's hit pre-listen. All right, so that's a stutter medium, stutter medium effect. Let's try stutter fast. All right, I'm gonna go back to stutter medium and I'm gonna process the effect into that region. All right, so one more time, pre-listen. All right, so what we need to do now is to move on and actually have that effect as part of that region on that track is we have to hit apply. So we hit apply, and it's really quick. You can even see the difference in 
the, uh, the wave file. Let me move this out of the way. You can see the difference in the wave file. This is the one that I had color-coded, which I will now recolor code. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's uh, just put that on again. That's the one that we affected, the orange one, orange region, okay? So let me close, close this out. I hit N twice, and that closes out the, uh, the, the lower function sample editing win window. Now, let me go back a little bit and play the beat before and after. The same track, remember it's the same track, so we don't have to do any kind of intricate um, uh, aux ends or buses or routing or automation to put those effects on that file. We just write those effects into that file. I'm going to start playing the beat uh, two bars before. Then the effect should, uh, then, then the track, with the region with the effect should then activate and then it should go back to this non-affected region. So let's go. Awesome. All right, one more thing. So I'm going to do another track here. I'm just going to grab that beat again and make a duplicate, mute this, this first track out because I want to do something completely different now. So you can add a tail to your audio file. So what that means is if you're using an effect on a region that's like a delay or a reverb, you may not want the reverb or delay to be cut off at the end of that region. So when that region stops, you don't want the delay and reverb to just stop. Now, there are some instances where you do want that to happen when you're doing like intricate, glitchy, glitchy electro type of edits and you want kind of like stutters to happen and delays to happen and I'm stopped with a break. That's one thing. But if you want a natural reverb or delay tail to continue to go until the effect is finished naturally, then here's how you do that. All right, so once again, we're going to keep these three guys dry. We're going to do this fourth one here with a... Um, a wet effect, like a reverb or a delay. So what I do is I go back to apply selection based processing. Actually, undo that, wrong command. <laughs> We're going to actually go into selection based processing and open up that window again. So here we go, because I minimized the window and I couldn't find it. So. We're back. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change what's on that first strip. We're going to change that from the stutter medium effect that we had on the previous the previous um, track that I um, dis uh, demonstrated for you. Now we're going to go to effects again, and we're going to try something that has a tail on it. So there's something here. There's a weird delay. Let me see. Um, we could do that. Let's do the weird delay only because it is a delay, and I can show you how um, how the effect will carry out once you add... Um, the add effect tail option. So I click right here, add effect tail. We're going to play that file by itself. You're going to hear it. The beat's going to sound all delayed and weird. But when the beat is done playing, it should actually have the delay carry out until the delay is finished. Okay? So let's do a pre listen. All right, so we know we have delay on here. It's doing some kind of weird thing with the beat. Um, we're going to hit apply once again. You can see this file actually got extended. It extended itself beyond the original length, and that's because the delay is continuing to carry out, and it's going to fade out naturally. So let's hit uh, play on that. See? The delay carried over. So that's what happens when you hit add effect tail. Pretty cool stuff here. Um, I'm going to dig more into this and come back with something probably a little bit more intricate once I actually know a little bit more about this. Remember, this was just released um, yesterday. So I had to install it, update it, learn about it, and bring it to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It's uh, youtube.com slash M-A-X-X-B-E-A-T-S, Max Beats. I'm producer Mr. Mig, and I will be back with some more videos. Peace.